For those who were there, the images from 1965 remain as vivid today as they were a half century ago. The spring brought record flooding, and Jim Cott had to be airlifted over the Minnesota River for his opening day assignment at Metropolitan Stadium. The Twins beat the Yankees that day in extra innings, the first of 102 victories in a season that will never be forgotten. A drive deep to left, way back, and it's a home run. Twins win. Harmon Killebrew's walk-off home run sent the Twins into the All-Star break with a five-game lead. And two days later, he homered again as the Twins and six of their own hosted a who's who of Cooperstown in the Midsummer Classic. In August, the Beatles took the stage in Bloomington. And one month later, the Twins returned to the city they left behind, the nation's capital, to celebrate an American League championship. Pitch! Strike three! October brought a classic fall classic, filled with memories to last a lifetime. Line drive down the left field line, and hooking from Allison, who dives, makes a catch. Oh, play by Allison. And though it ended in defeat at the hands and the left arm of a Hall of Famer, 1965 is a chapter of Twins history to be savored forever.